to be graduating alongside such determined and brilliant young men and women. So as we're getting the ceremony started, I just want to say congratulations, class of 2021. We're almost there. Thank you.
that many of you look at me, whether you know me or not, and see the quiet one. You see this. <laughs> you see the shy, studious girl, the smart one. The one who smiles but stays back when everyone runs onto the field or the center of the dance floor chanting Seawood. The one who, when asked what I did over the weekend, more often than not replies studying or homework rather than Friday night football games or hanging out with friends. But the reason I stay back and observe, why I take the classes I do, why I am the way I am, is all because of connection. Creating connections is at the root of everything that every single one of us does. It is what drives us. That is what pulls us through the unexpected and the unexpectedly difficult. It draws us to actively seek out that which is challenging and that which pushes us to our limits. Everything is connected by our desire to understand ourselves and the world around us. In my high school experience, all of the tears and struggle I experienced in AP Lang led me to the discovery that everyone has something meaningful to say. Giving me a human connection with those around me and a connection to my own interpretation of the world. The years of struggling to learn and keep up my skills in Mandarin Chinese and the diversity that we experience and love every day at Cottonwood taught me that differences in culture and in language are incredibly beautiful. They help us understand the reality that is our differences and teach us that there is something revelatory in finding connection between our seemingly unrelated cultures and traditions, even when they take effort to understand, especially when they take effort to understand. Struggling in physics taught me that even things we love take work. The things we're passionate about often won't come easy, but that can be what makes us passionate about them. And that passion has led me to find a new way of understanding the world, from the tiniest particles to the very forces that move the earth. But all of our experiences are different. Some of us will be mechanics, finding satisfaction in connecting each part of a machine, seeing all those pieces work together exactly how they're meant to. Some of us will be performers, connecting on a deep emotional level with whatever we produce, finding satisfaction and meaning in creating that connection with our audience. Others will be teachers, connecting with our own students, helping them discover connections and passion of their own. We will be parents, CEOs, engineers, waiters, waitresses, lawyers, politicians, athletes, and some of us will be a combination of many things. My point is that anything we're passionate about, anything that brings us joy or fulfillment, they all come from our desire to create some kind of connection. Whether it's physical, theoretical, emotional, it doesn't matter. That connection and knowledge is beautiful and meaningful to you, and that's what does matter. When we look for that connection and learning, we can make it through anything. We can make it through a pandemic, <laughs> through high school, and through anything that the future holds, no matter how difficult. So, I hope that in the future, we can be the ones looking for that connection. We, the Cottonwood Colts, can be the ones who have the courage <laughs> to suggest the possibility of a world that is bigger, more beautiful, and more connected than anyone has ever imagined. I'll never forget the connection that has shaped me at Cottonwood. But taking a page from the book, Our Town, I'd like to end by saying goodbye. Goodbye, football games. And tennis matches and choir concerts. Goodbye tests and homework and quizzes and textbooks. Goodbye tears shed and struggles had. Goodbye after school movies and long conversations. Goodbye cult news and songs I will never hear the same way again. <laughs> Goodbye exhaustion and fear and uncertainty. Goodbye old halls with water stained and leaky ceilings. Goodbye to the biggest auditorium west of the Mississippi. <laughs> Goodbye lessons learned and connections made. 
Oh, Cottonwood, you're too wonderful for anybody to realize you. Thank you. Man, I love this school. <laughs> it is an honor to speak today, and it is an honor to be your salutatorian, which, <laughs> if you don't know what a salutatorian is, or you can't really say it, that's okay. <laughs> I had to go look it up and make sure I was spelling it right when they told me about it, so. <laughs> if you can remember, it was a long time ago, back to our, the very first day of our freshman year, You'll remember that along with experiencing everything new about high school, we took a break during the day and we filed outside with cardboard glasses in hand to admire a solar eclipse. Our class witnessed 90% of the sun, something so constant, become veiled by the moon and our world went dim. August air turned chilly. Shadow and uncertainty poured over the football field. It was a nationwide event. People traveled hundreds of miles to see the entirety of what the media dubbed the Great American Eclipse. And across the globe, it was experienced through social media with pictures shot of the moon, a layer of blackness with webs of silvery light leaking around its edges in a crown. This delicate celestial crown around the moon is actually called a corona. At the time, we had absolutely no idea that this wouldn't be the only corona affecting our high school experience. <laughs> Colts of 2021, our year will be known around the world for its experiences during the worldwide coronavirus pandemic. It is linked to us, intertwined with everything inside of us. To try and take COVID out of our high school experience would be to abandon vital pieces of us. We have had countless challenges from cancellations at things and things at school to personal battles at home and challenges that we never thought we would face. And sometimes the hardest part really was not knowing if it would ever end or feeling like it would last forever not knowing when the sun would come out. But we endured, we endured. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we are still here. The vaccines are rolling out and our eclipse is finally ending. <laughs> the questions I now ask are who have we become who will we become? Every single high school graduation in history has marked the beginning of a new chapter in all of its students' lives. But we, the class of 2021, we have an opportunity. Our chapter almost perfectly aligns with the world. Think of all the knowledge we gained, unique lessons we earned. We can't just go back to now <laughs> how we were before. Whether you'll be heading to college or the workforce, the military, service, forging, forging your own path, think about the ways, small or big, that you've become better this year and don't let it go to waste. Take your talents. Realize the world is the blankest slate there has ever been. We're improvement-minded, asking, should we do things just because they're the things that we've always done? This year, as SBOs, we were constantly pushed to think outside of the box. We had our first virtual assembly of all time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that had, a pros it had pros and cons, like you would imagine, but we learned from it. And because we came used to bringing new ideas to the table, that became an asset. And we were able to organize Cottonwood's very first culture week, which we hope will continue to be an annual tradition. <sighs> like an eclipses corona. The darkness makes way for beautiful things to manifest themselves. Cottonwood, it has been a wonderful four years. I can't say how grateful I am 
for every single one of you I've met here. Whether we talked once or whether I saw you every day, you have made an impact on my life and made me better. I would not be who I am today without you. <sighs> As I leave, I have a last piece of advice. Hope for the future. An eclipse is only temporary, and the whole time the sun is covered, it is no less powerful. In fact, after witnessing the eclipse, it's only more impressive. As you see, the shadow over us is lifting. Remember your time here, and then go out and change the world. Go Colts.
I'm shaking right now. <laughs> in the word of Nelson Mandela, it is in the character of God that we should learn from both pleasant and, ple and a pleasant experience. An education is not just a right, but a great privilege. Growing up in a refugee camp in Burundi, I had no choice but to learn how to do hard things at a young age. I witnessed my parents fighting for food for us on a daily basis. Our family was allotted a small monthly food ratio, which to make last for an entire month, we only had one meal a day. I quickly learned the difference between a need and the want. I started doing housework and caring for my young siblings at five years old. I started, we, tra we had to travel on foot for miles just to get water. By that age, I could already get up to three large buckets of water, one on my head and two on the small hands. Fortunately, I had the opportunity to go to school in the camp. I spent all my time working digitally on my school work, believing that one day life will be better and my hard work will pay off. The school system in Burundi was very different from here in America. Students are assigned work according to their ability and not their age. Classrooms were crowded and barely had any seat or benches. We did not have computers or the internet. Textbooks were hard to obtain and usually out of date and falling apart. We had no supplies, so I tried my best to get through each school year and learn as much as I could using the resources that I had. Education was my escape from the reality of my childhood. When I moved to another state of the age of 14, I barely spoke in English. I didn't know or understand anything such as how to use the toilet or a stove or taking the bus. My father was, di was diagnosed with diabetes and couldn't work, so my mom worked three jobs to feed us and care for us. I often feel sad knowing what my mom has sacrificed to support us. She lost four of her children in Burundi due to illness. But she stays positive and her six remaining children are her joy and strength. My mother taught me to be a strong person no matter what the situation and to never make excuses. I worked to do my best in school so that one day I can make her life easier. I reach out to my teachers for help and work my English. I worked at McDonald's almost every night to be able to afford a good laptop to use for school. Because of my determination, I excelled in school. I I now have a passion for math, science, and art, and then have chosen to pursue a career in architecture. I never could have imagined I'll be standing here in front of you today, graduating from high school, and about to go to college. As Nelson Mandela pointed out, both pleasant and unpleasant experiences shape us and allow us to grow. <laughs> this past year in particular has tested all of us, but has also shown us how strong we are and as prepared for difficult challenges ahead. As we set out into the world, we must remember that life is full of challenges, 
that will push us and sometimes tear us, but that will lead to growth and ultimately success if we maintain a positive attitude and keep working hard. Ma, 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 I don't know why you're sitting, but I just want to say, Asante, thank you so much. Let me take you back 1,385 days ago to our first day of ninth grade. There you are, walking down the hall, only the second class of ninth graders to come to Cottonwood. Eyes are glued to the schedule in your hand in search of your first class. You see all the grown-up seniors crowding around in the math pod, and with your head down, you continue towards the history and English pods. The hall is suddenly very crowded with students sitting on the ground and you realize you've entered the Ames Hall. <laughs> Naturally, you buy yourself a muffin from the muffin lady and continue towards the gym. You take a quick left and Terry herself greets you. Soon you realize that this school is just a big circle and all these new people aren't so different from you. You were ready to try out for the team or the play. You knew you could do this. Nelson Mandela said, it is in the character of growth that we should learn from both pleasant and unpleasant experiences. I relate to this quote because my sophomore year, I sustained a major concussion while playing soccer, which has affected me for much of my high school career. I had to miss a lot of class and it took a lot of catching up, something that would not have been possible without generous teachers. Some days I thought I would have a headache forever and I felt lost without being able to play soccer. But I've grown so much through this injury. As I was forced out of my comfort zone, I joined new sports, I made new friends, and I learned to communicate with my teachers better. I feel more understanding and sympathetic to others. All these new skills will help me as I move to the next chapter of my life. Cottonwood has provided ways for each of us to face our everyday challenges head on and still excel. Whether it's a teacher pulling you aside after class, a trip to the food pantry, spending lunch with your friends, after school tutoring, or talking with your counselor, our school and community have always wanted us to succeed and they've helped us get here. Collectively, we've been through a lot the last four years and especially this last year. But think about what you've been through personally and how you've grown. The unpleasant experiences we've faced have led to pleasant ones. Many of us spent a lot of Fridays the last couple months getting COVID tested by our own administration. I never would have imagined Coach Southwick putting a Q-tip up my nose. <laughs> but I think we all made the most of it, anxiously waiting in line together, hoping for that negative test. I even remember kids starting pickup basketball games in the gym during testing. Obviously, COVID was changed everything this year. But through it all, there were so many beautiful moments. We were able to have three-day weekends every week because of Distance Learning Fridays. And when we finally got to have our prom, it was that much more special because it had been so long anticipated. We end each dance with the song One Day by Mantisuya, which says, Sometimes in my tears I drown, but I never let it get me down. So when negativity surrounds, I know someday it'll all turn around. Despite how hard it gets, the weekend always comes, the semester ends, and we graduate. As the song reminds us, keep on moving, though the waters stay raging. One day, one day, one day. 
And today is that day. We have made it here together. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Yuri Perez. I'm a math and science teacher here at um, Cottonwood High School. I teach, uh, have the privilege and the honor to be able to teach uh, ELL students. My classes are 100% ESL students, so as we will call them English learners. I have the privilege and the honor to be there. I'm teaching science and math, but they're teaching me the real meaning of commitment and love. That comes from, uh, I had to talk about diversity. A guy my, like myself, who is um, from South America, looks like a Middle Easter, and he has a Russian name. <laughs> 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 Talking about diversity. But I would like to, to you, the families and friends of Cottonwood High School, I would like to tell you about our students. It says that uh, the students at Cottonwood High School represent about practically every possible background, every color, every station, and walk of life. And they have taken so many different paths for this moment. For our graduates, no matter where their journey started, they all have made it here today through the same combination of unyielding determination, sacrifice, and a whole lot of hard work, isn't it? Moreover, Cottonwood High School granted the students the education on relationships, tolerance, and universal understanding. Walking into any of these classrooms at the school, they cross paths with people of different cultures, backgrounds, and beliefs. Teachers and staff taught the students the curriculum, and the students, but their peers, taught them the life lessons. Um, let me tell you a little story, sort of a miracle that happened. A few years ago, um, a group of students and myself decided to, why not to create a robotics team here at the school? And we did. We participated and we actually um, working very hard, very late. Eventually, we did such a good job that we qualified to the World Championship. <laughs> Wonderful. One problem though, we had no money to go. So we were, that was two years, almost three years ago, and we were looking at each other, well, what are we gonna do? This is a big commitment, what are we gonna do? And so we decided, okay, we're gonna work hard and we'll see what happened. We had only two weeks to get that money. In a matter of, in a matter of two weeks, the miracle happened. We had the money for the whole team to go to the World Championship in Houston, Texas to represent United States in a robotic international competition. Kids from over 52 different countries were gonna be there. We made it, but before we went, the students couldn't believe that a group of people from all over the world, ELL students, and, uh, and some of the, their American peers were there and looking at each other, how that, how that happened? How did they get the money? And uh, well, I told them, I didn't know what to say actually, but <laughs> what it came to me was, guys, this community, all these people who donated money and uh, giving you the chance to go there is because they believe in you. But then they say, well, but what can we do in return? Do we need to do some work or can we, can we do something about it? No, just do what you need to do. Well, I want to report on you that more than half of those kids are sitting right there right now ready to graduate with high GPAs, college credit, they responded. They were so grateful, they worked so hard to respond to the community like yourself, who helped them to make it to the World Championship and represent the United States in our international competition. So their education at Cottonwood High School, beyond the textbooks, for enable them to build relationships and friendships with the students that may not have the same family dynamic, the same economic status, or the same ideas of worship. But they receive an all-inclusive education 
that demonstrated the importance of tolerance and acceptance as they studied along with the students of all stories. They sat at a lunch table and that see the students of all backgrounds. They listened to their traditions, their views and opinions, their experiences. They shared their own personal stories and ideas. They found time to give back to the community even. Those CLL students also tutoring young people, read reading to kids, volunteering at hospitals, refugee centers, Boy Scouts, 4-H organizations, and they will manage to do internships and representing, like I said, and I'm very proud, the USA in an international competition. There is no better way to celebrate their wonderful, this wonderful country, than being here with all of them. As all of you know, this school has been the gateway to, to America for so many motivated Philhop ELL students. Sarah, who was just with you a second ago, she was, you won't believe it, but it took three weeks for her to say one word, and I thought she was mute. And now she's raising her hand and, and empowering herself. This is what Cottonwood is doing to the ELL students who come into this wonderful education establishment. Now, let me share with you, and uh, one, uh, I came across one of my students' uh, letter, and I would like to read part of that. Um, a, this is for you. My family arrived in the United States in late 2015 from Thailand. We moved here for a better life, for a better future. Seeing the snow for the first time was like discovering a whole new season. Super cold, but it felt, re but it felt refreshing at the same time. Taking pictures everywhere we went became a habit. There were so many different things in the United States. I experienced things that I have never experienced before. My first day of school was so scary. I walk into the hallways and everyone just appears so tall. <laughs> I could hear people talking, but I could not understand anything. All my classmates asked me many questions, but yes and no was the only way to go. I'm not a fast learner and I still have a long way to go. My classmates helped me, helped me out with English language problems. I'm glad they were there for me. We can achieve successful things in the United States, he says. As an English, le English learner, I was, it was hard for me to communicate with other people. When he came to Cottonwood High School, I met many people who, like me, came from other different backgrounds. Even though they came from different countries, we created a strong bond of friendship. During freshman year, we were offered to join the Cottonwood High School Mesa and Robotics, and we all decided to join. Mesa stands for Mathematics, Engineering, Science, Applied, and we accomplished so many things together. We competed against other schools and came in first and second together, but we were more than just a team. We traveled together, working until midnight together, celebrate birthdays together, we even had dinner together. Now those great moments are slowly becoming just memories now. We came a long way and I got to say, this team is like a second family to me. These once unknown friends are like my brothers and sisters, teachers and mentors at Cottonwood High School. Thank you. Cottonwood High School, thank you for bringing all these people together. Thank you for being there when we needed them. A, he's sitting right there, ready to graduate. And he's thanking everybody as well as all the students who are being here. Thank you to all the community at Cottonwood High School. We have names like the Hershey's, a family who, with Chris and Julie, his wife, were there for all those students. And that's what Cottonwood brought to them. Joran, another young man who came and approached and started helping them to achieve what it is, a wonderful miracle, seeing being sitting there, graduating, despite the things of five years ago seemed to be impossible. This is the kind of school that you're graduating from. This is the kind of school that you, your kids came to, graduated of 2021. I salute you because you're coming, or you're getting out of one of the most wonderful educational establishments in the, in the Valley but because of uniqueness, this global thing that our school has makes us stronger and you know, Colts are great.
On behalf of Cottonwood High School, I would like to thank everyone who has worked so hard to present these commencement exercises today. The graduating class of 2021, I would like to say that today is a celebration of choices, your choices. I am so proud of the choice you made that started 13 years ago when you entered kindergarten. I would also like to express my profound appreciation to our parents and families for the trust that you have placed in us as educators. And now, I would like to thank the outstanding faculty and staff who work so hard to ensure success for all of our students, not just academic success, but also social and emotional success. Many of you have already made choices for the next phase of your life. Some of you are going to study at a local university. Some are studying at out-of-state institutions. Some are choosing to serve the military, and some are choosing to do religious service. Now, for the audience, I want to tell you a little bit about this outstanding group of students today graduating who have scholar received scholarships offers that exceed $3.7 million. This is $1 million more than any other graduating class from Cottonwood High School. This group in front of you, audience, is an intelligent, articulate group of diverse students whom I have grown to love and admire. Now, I'm going to ask the house lights to just be a little bit on so that you can um, see our graduates. They know as they are about to stand, as I call them out for certain categories. I want you as an audience to get to know this group a little bit better. So, graduating class of 2021, please stand if you are graduating today with a perfect 4.0 GPA. Stand now. Now, please stand if you have ever received a perfect 4.0 for one quarter or more while at Cottonwood. Now remember, stay standing. 
Stand if you are graduating today with a 3.5 GPA or higher. As you can see, this is a very academically accomplished group. Thank you. You may be seated. Now, let's go on to athletically speaking. Please stand if you represented Cottonwood High School by participating in any of our sports teams while you were a student here. Thank you. You may be seated. Please stand if you were part of the visual arts department, performing arts programs of band, choir, debate, orchestra, or theater while here at Cottonwood High School. Thank you. You may be seated. Now please stand if you joined any of our 42 clubs, including Mesa and our robotics team. Please stand. Thank you. Our school has a rich history of military service and religious service. Please stand if you have enlisted in one of the branches of the military or are choosing to do some kind of religious service in the next few months. Please stand. Thank you. Now, lastly, please stand if you are an awesome student at Cottonwood High School and the graduating class of 2021 and deserve a round of applause. Thank you. You may be seated. It now becomes my great honor and privilege to present to you Assistant Superintendent John Welburn and representing the Granite Board of Education, Julie Jackson and Clark Nelson, this 2021 senior graduating class from Cottonwood High School. I certify that each and every one of them has met the requirements as presented by the Granite Board of Education for graduation from high school. I therefore recommend they be granted diplomas this day attesting to their accomplishments. We will now be honored to hear from one of our newest members of the Granite Board of Education, Clark Nelson, who also happens to be the parent of one of our outstanding graduates, Megan Nelson. I just embarrassed you, Megan, and it's okay. There you go. Clark. Thank you, Mrs. Roy Lance. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is Clark Nelson. It is my honor to be with you today and to represent the Granite School District Board of Education. However, and as Terry just alluded to, I'm sure each parent here would attest, such a role pales in comparison to being here simply as a very proud parent. I very much appreciate the words that have been spoken thus far today by Mrs. Roy Lance and our student speakers. These individuals and the words that they have spoken about connections, overcoming their eclipse, hope, perseverance, sacrifice, determination, choices, and character of growth represent so much of what is remarkable about Cottonwood High School, its faculty, counselors, administration, and most of all you, its 2021 graduates. I am truly proud to be part of our Cottonwood High community and to call this school my family's home. It is my hope and prayer that you graduates leave today with renewed excitement, desire, and commitment to take, as so eloquently stated already, the pleasant and the unpleasant from your experiences here and further become the people that our country and our world need. It won't ever be easy, but I have the utmost confidence and optimism in each one of you. Without further delay, upon the recommendation of Principal Terry Roylance, and as a member of the Granite Board of Education, I accept this 2021 graduating class from Cottonwood High School 
as meeting all of the state and district requirements for a high school diploma and declare each one of you graduated. Thank you. Now, with no further ado, let the fun begin as we watch each of our graduates leave the auditorium to get ready to cross this beautiful stage for the last time. So graduates, if you would please stand and follow your line leaders. And just a note to the audience, our graduates are not alphabetically organized. So uh, please just pay, stay in tune and pay attention for when your graduate crosses the stage today. Suleika Gavika. Marley Middleton. Oh. 
Nova Jimenez. Christian Camargo. Siddhartha Sark. <laughs> Layla Ameta Lunt Palola. Grace Jensen. Abigail Higby. Brian Liviochi. Matthew Arameco. Caitlin Christine Martell. Brandon Morales. Mackenzie Dawn Wilcox. Sebastian Lozano. Alexa Mariela Rosales Gafaro. Anthony Salas Alvarez. Dahlia Nadal. Isaiah Rivera. Sumaya Mohammed. Gabriel Holm. Ingrid Medina. Bodie Beatler. Abby Gunderman. <laughs> Dallin Marinos. <laughs> Breland Leonard. Jacqueline Vi Engio. James Earl Harwell. Catherine Vega. Vibash Mangar. Alexis Ham. Isaac Gutierrez. Trinity Kleben. Maria Smaga. Danielle Smith. Amira Marseille. William Wynn. Leticia Marquez de Suessa. Bruce Crockett. Andrew Pinky. Grace Child. Jordan Marie Otterstrom. Michaela Montoya. Angelina Hill. Cody Flores. Haley Collier.
Ariana Cervantes. Emerson Gardner. Quintrell Valentine. Tyler Bailey. Adrian Zamora Ortiz. Jake Hilt. Ashley Ramirez. JJ Mitchell. Albert Castro. John Congram. Mary Nielsen. Edmund Long. Haley Kopiak. Oliver Lingard. Olivia Cherry. Antonio Sevilla. Maria Juarez de la Cruz. Augusta Mauro. Nancy Gonzalez Chavez. Maggie Driggs. Ramirez Ramirez. Callie Diamond. Michael Scott Miller. Megan Probst. Isabella Renee Morales. Marshall Granson. Brandon Casasolas Matoya. Duncan Wanacock. Oscar Casasolas Matoya. Gustavo Sedano Velasco. Pablo Calderon. Tanner Wilson. Christian Alfaro. Jay Z Zimmerman. <laughs> Luis Herrera. <laughs> Jeff Benware. <laughs> Alejandra Garcia. <laughs> Jadicus Zapai. Diana Mendoza Cervantes. <laughs> Matthias Davidson. <laughs> Kimberly Velasquez Galias. <laughs> Sione Kinikini. Via Jordan Potecki. Cash Davenport the third. Mele Kaloa Vitae. Joseph Tuno. Kaylee Flake. Noreen Rashid.
Ashley Averett. Martha Quiros Barroso. Lucas Ogden. Martina Hancock. Elin Barrows. Leanna Candelaria. Ben Anthony. Emily Hutchinson. Max Kwong. Lily Stinger. Hunter Oliphant. Emmanuel Sanchez Gutierrez. Melody Nelson. Bryant Manuel Lopez. Camille Cox. Alejandra Echeveste. Amy Fenstermaker. Maria Oblado. Brenna Kirby. Rebecca Ortiz Osman. Chloe Elise Nord. Soda Adon. Britton Golden. Use Perez Oliver. Elijah Flax. Elizabeth Vienna. Haley Handy. Sebastian Garcia. Catherine Mason. Jasmine Wanacott. <laughs> Alexia Orbethwa Black. <laughs> Megan Nelson. Stefan Kolosevich. Abby Aquino. Blade Pemberton. Jack Nielsen. Alejandro Pacheco. David Lopez. Jules Payne. Brian Simondo. Anel Vargas Perez. Abdul Al Kuzai. Michelle Vialva. Abdul Mansour. Gustavo da Silva. Philemon Akabunamani. Ruth Tapia. 
Saddam Asabasi. Yvette Wizar. Atib Ishmael. Laura Smith. I Chen. Yasmin Bilal. Mohammed Salih. Miriam Yassim. Farah Hussein. Abir Yusuf. James Uendia. Asha Dahir. Sachin Rai. Hinda Muhammad. Anuraj Saraki. Mina Rivera. Ashmita Karaki. Rocio Rojas. Rosha Sharma. Kiana Baravi. Pratima Rai. Eric Ponce. Melinda Pulali. Cree Wallen. Teresa Luol. Trace Ashton Perpich. Fatna Ibrahim. Riley Prescott. Taya Walker. Hunter Neumeyer. Jacqueline Workman. Isaac Morris. Alexander Heaps. Clint Slagowski, Jr. Adeline Garcia Navarro. Catherine Alvarez. Nay Ra. Ashley Gay. Abhishek Suba. Haley Thompson. Carly Sparks. Ahmed Sam Shah. Ethan King. 
Roman Pokrell. Isaiah Marischal. Yusuf Hadari. Braxton Davis. Judith Figueroa. Will Sintil. Ethan Keems. Heather Uden. Carolina Renaga. Tristan Onida Roberts. Saul Rosas. Whitney Nagstaff. Florence Tatakama Ata Nagoa. Brianna Nelson. Artemia Renwick. Katie Sandusky. Douglas Mon. Brooklyn Allen. Me. Mitzi Hernandez. Sky Lake Allen. Mariana Figueroa. Layla Awalani Siawalaopa Salaima. Andrea Flores. Mu Pa. Esmeralda Aguilar. Juan Camilo Calero. Alejandro Barahona. Isabella Barros de Souza. <laughs> Sasha Stanley. <laughs> Andrea Gonzalez. <laughs> Savannah Bevan. Brian Cavario. Kara Bagley. Eric Sabalios. Aubrey Henry. Lily Evans. Reese McCormick. Kiki Sintil. Joseph Henderson. Marwo Ahmed Ibrahim. Dylan Goran. Glorios Tuishimwe.
Darren Gorin. Yahir Vaca. Jacob McFadden. Maria Hernandez. Aaliyah May Cox. Maya Hathaway. Isabella Camarillo. Jessica Lopez Mendoza. Jaquel Pearson. Anna Karina Vera Morales. Ariana Kaya Reiser. Ray Rose Smith. Kaylee Werdrup. Preston McDowell. Brennan Boren. Jordan Ponis. Keegan Ingram. Sarah Sukane. Pedro Yazi. Nathaniel House. Hunter Ogden. Savannah Jensen. Jimenez Zavala. Justice Peixoto. Ahmed Abdu Abdulavid. Ayla Vandenberg. Jansen Huber. Juan Amador Aguilera. Caden Young. Yahir Kwenuka. Noor Kuda. Landon Black. Laura Genabia. Shanae Suzette Gutierrez Venargas. Zahor Kuda. Jesus Fergoso. Zohair Barati. Kelsey Kudrill. Annie O'Brien. Kimmy Church. Calvin 
Jean Montier. Peyton Jensen. Connor McLeish. Matthew David Simpson. Skylar Watts. Ryan Nettleby. Elena Nielsen. Katie George. Liv Bean. Callie Colton. Kimberly Rodriguez. McKenna Rolf. Faith Godina. Tanner Blokovich. Tate Fairbanks. Ashley Moreno. Ruby Amos.
family, friends, faculty, and alumni. Thank you so much for joining us on this very special day. This year has been rough for everyone, but we finally made it. The day we've all been waiting for, for as long as we can remember. As kids, we just wanted to grow up, but now I think we all want to reverse the clock. Looking back at our last four years here at Conwood High School, we may have overlooked some of our blessings and might not have appreciated what we had around us. But we are extremely fortunate to have been a part of such an amazing school and district who fought for us and our senior year. The diversity of our student body, our experiences, and our pride is what makes us Conwood Colts. Over the last few years, we have not only grown individually, but together as well. And I believe that we have created one of the most determined, respectful, and relentless classes Conwood has ever seen. However, things happen, and some of us had to battle through situations. But I believe that tough situations create strong people. Challenges will always be a part of our lives, but don't be afraid. Have the courage to face it, and in the process, you'll learn who you are. No matter the situation, always strive to be the best version of yourself. Be great by your own definition, live by your virtues, and push yourself to achieve your dreams, because you only have one life to live, so live it. Senior year was full of new friends, new adventures, and new memories that'll last us a lifetime. Caught up in the moment, we never thought these memories would be a part of the last we would experience. The last musical, the last football game, even the last dance. But nothing lasts forever. We've always been taught to reach for the stars, to follow our dreams, and that anything is possible if you put your mind to it. Now it's our time to do just that. Time to inspire, time to grow. Be kind, compassionate, and stand up for one another. Encourage those around you and respect everyone. But most of all, find your purpose. If you find your purpose in one part of your life, it will grow in every aspect of your life. And no matter what you end up doing in the future, make sure you're proud of it. Now seniors, please move your tassel from the right to the left as we congratulate the graduating class of 2021. Once again, congratulations to you, our outstanding class of 2021. You have set the bar high for the class of 2022. We love you. Audience, please remain seated until all of our graduates have exited. Okay, class of 2021, it is now time for you to stand up. And leave the auditorium and let the celebration begin as you enter the commons. Enjoy.